Get you ready for this, man. Hey guys, welcome to another Big Vapors e juice review. And in this review, we're going to talk about an e juice that I've been dying to try for a while now. I should say e juices that I've been trying to uh, try for a while now, which are the Halo Sig e juices. These things are bomb. I've heard a lot of talk about uh, Halo, and uh, they contacted me online and asked me if I would do a couple honest reviews, and I said I would totally do a couple honest reviews, and they sent me a few samples. Uh, they sent me three samples in particular, Midnight Apple, Smooth 8, and Kringle's Curse. So in this review, we're just going to cover the uh, Midnight Apple uh, for now. But I, I do, I will say, I do like the other two e-juices, and I'll make a small note about them at the end. But I really want to cover the Midnight Apple because uh, I'm loving this e-juice. It's a pretty solid e-juice. Um, so there's a few things I want to talk about before we get into the actual e-juice review. I try to make this as quick as possible, but uh, there's some really cool things here that I want to talk about. The first is, as far as I know, and I'm not 100% sure, these guys are, well, I do know that it's all American-made premium e-liquid, and they pride themselves on the fact that it's made in America and that it's made under, um, you know, made under the most clean of quality controlled uh, environments, that their juice is run through all kinds of lab tests, etc., and they only use the highest grade, highest quality ingredients uh, in their e-juice. In fact, on the bottle, um, the ingredients, uh, and as well as on their website, you can read on their website, that all their juices are FEMA grass, or G-R-A-S, approved. Um, and for those of you who don't know what uh, FEMA is, F-E-M-A, it's, uh, it's basically an association, or it actually stands for Flavor Extract uh, Manufacturers Association. And this is an association that's been around since the 60s that... Uh, basically does quality control on flavoring. So it's all USP grade, um, all natural flavorings that are used in these juices that are approved by FEMA, F-E-M-A. And that's pretty cool um, that they meet those particular standards and qualities in their e-juice. So I just wanted to mention that because I found that actually very interesting. I first saw that on the bottle. I had no clue what that meant. I started reading about it on the website. was still like, okay, what is this FEMA grass stuff? And uh, so I did a little Googling and I found out what it was. And I think that's uh, pretty cool because, you know, E-juice makers get their flavorings from all over the place. Uh, there are obviously a handful of well-known flavoring uh, suppliers, uh, but we don't always know what all the ingredients are or if they've been tested and if they have been tested, who's tested them, etc. So I find this very interesting, all right? So I just wanted to make that little note about Halo 6. All right, so this is Midnight Apple. Um, I'll be honest, when I do juice reviews, I try to not read the description always of the juice uh, that I'm getting just so that I kind of have uh, a more of a an open take on it so that it's more of a surprise I'm like oh that's what it is because names can be deceiving and in this case if the name is a little deceiving I expected some kind of a warm fresh apple taste or a crispy apple taste midnight apple so I was expecting an apple like uh, flavored uh, e-juice um, and that's not at all what it is uh, when I first got it um, and I opened it up and I took a whiff, it had a really strong smell to it. I wasn't even sure what to make of it, but it had a very strong smell. And it actually kind of reminded me of aftershave. I don't know why, but that was the smell I got. I did not get uh, apple smell at all, and I wasn't even sure about vaping it. And so I gave it a shot, and uh, I put a couple drops in my Addy, took a few toots, uh, did it again, and I was like, this is really interesting. And then I realized... It's a tobacco-inspired or tobacco-flavored um, apple, and it's a spicy apple. Now, after I tasted it, I went through the website because I was very, okay, I need to know what the description of this is. And uh, in their description, it's a spicy or subtle hints of spicy Granny Smith. So Midnight Apple offers a unique blend of rich tobacco layered uh, with spiced Granny Smith apple pop notes. So that is their description on the website and uh, pretty damn close. It is definitely tobacco-y and it is definitely a bit spicy um, and I wouldn't say it's for everyone but if you like tobacco flavors uh, and then there's that hint of like kind of like a, a sour sweet 
uh, apple in there at the very end, it's really, really nice. Um, one other thing I want to uh, comment about before uh, we take a toot here and show you how it vapes is that I love the branding on these. These are glass, like these see-through blue glass uh, bottles, and they are dropper bottles, which is so nice. Um, very well branded uh, polyurethane labels, you know, so when they get wet, nothing happens to the label. You can still read it. Um, Barcoded, uh, lot code on the back. Best before day. I mean, these guys really took a lot of time and effort uh, and ensuring that everything about how they make their juice and how they present their juice uh, really is professional and top notch. And I really, really dig that uh, a lot. And it's something that definitely stands out for me. And I will definitely be purchasing uh, more Halo juice in the future. So let's go ahead and vape this. It's a 12 milligrams of Nick 50 50 mix. I believe it's a 50 50 mix, US uh, grade. Uh, PGVG, like I said, FEMA grass approved. So I'm going to vape this in a low res Kanger on my Power Baby. So we're going to get a couple drops here. Oh, yeah. It's hard to see what I'm doing right now. Don't have a lot of light in my office. That should be good for testing. Oh, man, I just love that glass bottle. Absolutely awesome. All right. Got my Agent Scully on here, as Vaporest Thompson says, or Castle Gray Skull, as I like to refer to it as. And we're going to be vaping this at, uh, we're going to start at 3.3 volts on the Power Baby. Mm. Very good. You see that vapor? My drip tip is falling off here. That's some, some sweet vapor. Let's take a look at this again. Mm, 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 mm. Lots of vapor. Uh, really great flavor. Really great taste. Uh, really digging this juice a lot. Um, it is spicy, and it definitely has that tobacco uh, flavor to it. One thing I will definitely note, uh, you should note, is that it's very scented. And it doesn't smell like apple, and it doesn't necessarily smell like tobacco, but it's got a very strong smell. Uh, I was vaping this at work, and a few people mentioned, like, what is that? So just be aware that it is a very strong smell that you are uh, vaping, and people around you, I don't know, may or may not be quote-unquote offended by that smell, but whatever. Uh, it's still better than tobacco, tobacco. Uh, let's take another vape off this at uh, 4.0. Hmm. That's the sweet spot right there. Look at this vapor. So much vapor. It's a great juice. Uh, these are great Cardos, and this is a great mod. Um, all in all, this is a beautiful combination. So Midnight Apple by Halo uh, Sigs. This is a really cool um, apple, uh, spiced apple tobacco flavor. I'll tell you right now, it's not everyone's cup of tea. I've had a few friends tried it. Uh, you know, they were like, hey, I'm not so sure. I've been really digging it. Uh, it's definitely not something I would normally vape, but I'm, I am enjoying it. I can't, I'll be honest, I can't vape it uh, all day long. Um, but it is very good when you're in the mood for, for something a little different and something a little unique. I would definitely uh, give this a shot, especially if you're looking for, uh, if you like tobacco flavors and you're looking for a new tobacco and uh, apple is something that interests you. This is definitely a unique, uh, one of the more unique uh, e-juices I have tasted. So I'm really digging that. So like I said, the side note now is the other two that they sent me, Kringle's Curse and uh, Smooth Aid. I'm not going to review these fully, but I will say this, the Kringle's Curse is pretty awesome. It tastes like those after dinner mints, those red, you know, striped, white and red striped uh, dinner mints. Very cool. Smells incredible. And Smooth Aid is another uh, tobacco kind of uh, flavor, kind of like an RY8 or something like that. Um, interesting. It's pretty middle of the road. It's a, it's a solid straight up uh, vape. So um, there you have it. Those are some pretty cool e-juices from Halo e-cigs. And I just want to quickly give a shout out to Vapor Trails e-cigs in Buffalo, New York for sending me this 
Bomb Vaping World Order t-shirt. Love this t-shirt. Check out those guys on their YouTube channel. Uh, you can find them on my blog, and I'll put a link into the description. Um, awesome guys. Never tried their juice, but I watched their uh, YouTube channel. They have a regular uh, quote-unquote TV show, and uh, these are just awesome. Yeah, it's a bit anarchistic, but Vaping World Order, you got to love it. Pretty freaking cool. All right, guys, so... Follow me on Twitter. Check out the website, bigvapers.wordpress.com. Uh, uh, you know, keep on vaping. I'm going to leave you with another toot of this awesome Midnight Apple from Halo Sigs. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. And I'll see you all on the flip side. All right, y'all.